Good morning, everyone. This is Crystal Sanford of Sanford Autism Consulting. I am your autism advocate in California. If you have a child with autism and your child attends public schools, then I am here for you. I help parents successfully navigate special education in California uh, for children of all unique needs, but especially for children like mine with autism. So I'm so happy to be here with you today to talk about a little bit about our story. And I, I used to say my story, but it's not my story. It's our story, really. It's, it's my perspective and my telling of my daughter's journey with autism and how that's impacting our family and how we have uh, learned to, you know, quoting the phrase, turn lemons into lemonade. And so today I'm really talking to that new parent, new to the diagnosis, maybe completely overwhelmed, maybe you have no idea what autism is, you're just finding out about this, or you suspected something was up for a while, and now you've finally been told that your child has autism. And I'm here to offer hope to you. I'm here to take those fears that you may have right now and exchange them for hope, because honestly, there is hope um, in every situation. And I realize that autism is a spectrum disorders, right? It's a spectrum, it's a broad spectrum, but there is hope for you, for your family, and for your child. So I hope that you leave uh, this video being encouraged. So uh, a little bit about our story. My daughter is currently eight and a half at uh, around 18 months when she finally started walking, 17 and a half months, um, I began to suspect that she might be impacted by autism because of my background as a speech pathologist um, and having worked with so many uh, children and young adults with autism and on teams, I began to suspect that she might have autism. And at three and a half, she was diagnosed with high functioning autism. And to me, that was like, um, it was like, oh, finally, like somebody told me what I had been suspecting and confirmed that for me. It wasn't as much of a, um, a, a depressing time. It was really kind of a, it was a relief. And then it, I knew that, okay, if this is what it is, then this is the way we're going to move and moving forward. But I understand that for most families, that's not the case because you're new to this, you have you, you have this child and you suspect that everything would be fine until you start seeing some signs or somebody says some things. And then when you get that diagnosis, it's devastating, right? So I'm gonna offer some tips to you, some suggestions. And my first one to you, new parent to autism, is to take space and take time to mourn that vision of what you expected for the life of your child. Like literally, you need to Take time to realize that's not the reality. That is what you had hoped and had thought when that child was in your womb, mom, and now you have to face the reality that it's life is gonna be different for them. You need to take time for that and process that and get in a space where you're okay with the idea that that's not their reality, but there is something new for them in their life and that life is not over just because now somebody's giving you this label of ASD. My next tip for you um, is to really begin to build your tribe. I encourage families, you know what? You're not the only person out there impacted by autism. Let me tell you, um, you want it feels like, right, that the US is the country that is impacted by autism the most, but um, actually Japan uh, in the studies that I have read is the country impacted the most, but Japan, the UK, Denmark, um, these are countries who are impacted by autism even more than the U.S. But of course, here in the U.S., um, we see that uh, prevalence increasing as well. So you're not alone. And I encourage you to find a tribe, either online support groups, in-person support groups, people in your neighborhood, uh, find people that are dealing with autism and doing it well and start connecting with them so that you can use that and benefit from that support of a tribe, of a network of people who get you and get what you're dealing with and speak your language. My third tip for you is to take notes. If you're not a t uh, person who likes pen and paper, I love paper, um, but if you don't, uh, make a note section in your phone, whatever it works for you, but take notes throughout your journey. When those questions hit you in the middle of the night, write them out. 
put them somewhere so that when you do get to your next appointment with your doctor, you have it written there because you're going to forget, honestly, as a mom, you're going to forget, um, especially a mom with a child with unique needs. Uh, document what your child is doing right now because guess what, parents? They're going to be doing something different. Um, uh, they're going to surprise you um, next month or next year. Um, so start documenting those things that they're doing now, the behaviors that you see. Um, document your journey, your feelings. Really start putting pen and paper to that or typing that, getting that out of your brain and that gives your brain space to just be able to uh, breathe and enjoy life's journey that you um, have right before you. So those are my tips for you. If you're a new autism parent, I encourage you to take space, take time to really uh, process the fact that life that you expected is not going to be, but there is a hope for a beautiful life for you and your family. Um, secondly is build your tribe, find people who speak your language, other autism parents and connect with them. And third is take notes, write down those things that are uh, on your mind so that you have them in a space and you'll be able to go back and look and refer to them as you need to. Again, I'm Crystal Sanford of Sanford Autism and Consulting uh, and I hope you have an amazing day. Feel free to contact me with any autism questions or special education questions at uh, sdautismhelp.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.